straight away. Now the sweeper has done a pretty good job of clearing that off, but we'll probably have to run a lap or two here before they give them one to go. There will be no free pass because Michael Waltrip in the 99 was the first car lap down at the point of caution. Matt? Mike, under the red flag, Lance McGrew instructed his driver, Kyle Busch, don't even look in the mirror. Worry about yourself. Hit your marks like you have hit them all night. Your car is a tenth of a second faster per lap than Biffle. Just worry about yourself. DW, in the past we've seen some drivers just knock the mirror down just so they can't even look in the mirror. And his spotter was also instructed, his father Tom, Lance told him, all I want to hear from you for the final ten laps or so is that he is pulling away. Well, let me tell you what I'd do if I was Greg Biffle. I don't care whether you look in the mirror or not. I run up there and tap you in the back end just a teeny bit. Oh, I'd yeah. Caution. I drive along the side of you and get your attention, wave at you. I'd be working on that head if I was me. But now, Rusty, if you knock that mirror down, that's not so much so you can't see it. It's to tell the guy behind you you're not going to see it, isn't it? <laughs> yeah, you're right. No doubt about that one. But, but, Rusty, that's happened to you, especially at a short track. Well, there's a lot of things happening to me at a short track. <laughs> I, the things I, at least, I, how many times have I been leading Bristol, leading the race, and get taken out going into turn three. I thought I lost five Bristol races under this same scenario, man. It's been tough. I counted it with six. Six times? Six times. I tell you. When, you're, when you're leading the race right here, like Kyle is, it's not what you want, man. You don't want to see Greg Biffle, a driver that good, on your tail. You don't know if your tire's going to get cleared off, what's going to happen. But I was, if I was driving that five car, what would you do? You see one cat coming through the gearbacks like a maniac, man. <laughs> oh, yeah, I guarantee yeah. you. I guarantee you, you would see that. Now, you might be smoking the tires all the way down the front straightaway, too. No, Daryl, no way. You know, I'd do it perfect, man. <laughs> I think the guy, the guy who needs to watch his mirror is Buster driving the pace car because yeah. Kyle Busch is going to be coming. <laughs> well, it's up to Greg. Greg Biffle's got to time this restart perfectly so that he can get a good run on the five car and try to get his nose down under him as he goes into turn one. He's got to get his attention. Oh, the pace car driver will be fine. Uh, Brett Bodine, who recently hired by NASCAR, is uh, behind the wheel of the safety car, I'm told. And that's not Brett Bodine. No, but that is Buster on the uh, left, or riding in the passenger seat. And I'm not sure who that is driving. But I know that's not Brett. <laughs> I've never seen that guy before. I don't know who that is. Me neither. Well, I know one thing. He's going to become the pit road this time, and we're going to have nine laps to go. And Here he better go. come on, or he's going to be on. The, he's going to be in the way. All right, Kyle Busch. We'll bring him down for the shootout. He'll have nine laps to go to hold off Greg Biffle and Kevin Harvick. As I said, they will have cars to contend with here. Biffle gets down into turn one really good. Kevin Harvick in that 21 car, he got a good, pretty good restart. Don't push off a two. Watch that five car accelerate. Man, he goes down that straightaway. I'd say it's all home free from here. But boy, Biffle got a good run through the middle of three and four that time. He pulled right up to his rear bumper. Eight laps to go. It's like Kyle Busch is a little better in the five car off turn two. Maybe Biffle's a little better off turn four. He can pick up the throttle so early, uh, Kyle can. He just back in the throttle and really accelerates. He doesn't need that mirror now, does he? No, sir. Just hit your marks and don't look back. <laughs> Ricky Hendrick cheering him on as Lance McGrew <laughs> tries to look so calm and cool. It's out of his hands now. And remember, this was the crew chief and the team that took Brian Vickers to three victories last year. Turn two, Yaley in the wall. Off the front bumper, I believe, of Robert Presley. Caution is out. Now we're at lap 244. I know they told the drivers at the driver's meeting that the red flag lap was 246, so which if, is four to go. So they got to stop them. They've got to do it quick. Pace okay. car comes back out. By the way, Dennis Dillard is the pace car driver. Buster Otten alongside. Let's see what we do here. We've got well, five I know and a half to go. I know what they should do. You give them one to go the next time by, and you drop the green flag. Don't need to be talking about closing the pits, opening the pits. Uh, just come by, give them one to go, and next time by, go green. Nothing on the track, it appears. Yaley was able to drive away. That is the 11th, 12th caution. I don't know. A lot, a lot of darn a lot, cautions a lot tonight. Of cautions, yeah. Let's make it 11. Let's see what happened here. Oh, gee. Like Robert Preston in the 47 just gets into the to the back of uh, J.J. Yaley in the 18. And J.J. was still on the lead lap. The most tense part of all this is the restart. We're going to have another one. That's Ricky uh, 
Hendrick over there cheering his driver on. It was five to go that time, and we're hearing it's a quickie yellow, which means pit road will be open and every, open, and everyone can pit the first time. You don't and have to wait, and it will be one to go too. Right, they'll also give them one to go. Yaley will pit. They'll pry away some sheet metal, maybe put a left rear tire on it, and away we'll go. So don't leave your TV set. We're going to try it again. That, all those things we talked about five laps ago, got to do them all over again. Hit your marks, don't spin the tires, and don't let Greg Biffle get a run on you. With getting this one to go as they complete 246, that means we'll have three laps to go racing. There's the list that Kyle Busch is trying to join of drivers who've scored their first career win here. Tommy Houston, the longtime Iron Man of this series, leads that list. One to go. Down finger restart, single file. So, when those cars that talking about guys like Tommy Houston and Jack Ingram and all those guys, when all those cars were sitting around at the back 10, 15 years ago, we'd have been saying, who went out of here? Because that'd have been the only way that have stopped the race. Right. They sure wouldn't have stopped it for an accident. West Ward, Jason Keller's crew chief, sitting back in fifth right now. <laughs> Poor Lance. Here he was all set to uh, just kind of ride this one out. Four more laps, victory lane. Now he's got to do it again. I'd like to have a game. I'd like to see what his blood pressure is right now. And I know he's a young man, but I guarantee you that heart's thumping. Here we go, boys. Be three laps to go. Let's do it again. It'll be three to go. Bush, Biffle, Harvick, Hamilton. Here we go. Biffle got a good start. Kevin Harvick in the 21, lost a little ground on that restart. Boy, he did. He's having to block Bobby Jr. there to keep him from getting under him. Biffle's trying to get that nose under there, but that five is really strong in the middle of one and two and off of two. Let's see what happens down in three and four. Biffle has really been driving it down in there. His car's been good through the center. He picks up the throttle right to the rear bumper. Two laps to go. Uh -oh. To him. Uh-oh. Better watch out. It's where he's been so strong, right down in the middle of three and four. But right here is where the five is really good. Watch him beat him out of here. Didn't really beat him that no, bad that, that time. Not that time. Matter of fact, he lost. Kyle, you better run because you can't hide. But I think if Biffle passes him, he's at going oh, to oh, he's there. Side. He's there, Larry. He's going to get a nose under him. White flag. <laughs> one to go. Man, I thought he was going to tell you he's making a run in. I think Kyle Busch just has to protect that bottom right there. Biffle stays right with him. Half a lap to go. Woo, Biffle oh, right out next to the wall off of two. Bush got this a is it. jump there. This is it right here. Last chance. Kyle Biffle's got to get to him. He can't do it. Can't quite make it. Kyle Bush scores his first Bush Series win. Good for him. Greg Biffle All right. second. Kevin Harvick third. Bobby Hamilton Jr. Jason Keller fifth. David Green sixth. And our points leader coming into the race, Martin Truex Jr. finishes seventh. Pretty good recovery for Truex yeah, there. Tell what you want. After three second-place finishes, including a second-place finish in his first race last May at Lowe's Motor Speedway, and seven top tens this year, including six straight, Kyle Busch is going to go to victory lane. Lance McGrew, what does this mean? How special to get him his first win? I tell you what, any time you have a, every time, every win is special, but when you get a driver first win, especially somebody as awesome as this kid, I'm telling you what, I'm loving it right now. He, he is the man. And he held them all off tonight, and uh, unbelievable for this team. Was that pure torture, those final few cautions of the red flag? I am shaking like crazy, I tell you. Uh, but the guys, every time the car hit pit road, awesome pit stops. This team, I cannot, I never tell them, I don't thank them enough, and I want to right now. Pop, Rick, that was for you, buddy. We love you. Pop, I'm coming to see you next week. My phone's ringing right now, I bet it's him. Uh, just an awesome night for this race team. Congratulations. Hey, Rusty, this is your kind of celebration. Window net down, face the fans for a wrong way to victory lap. I like this. So it'll be Kyle Busch in victory lane when we come back. And he becomes the sixth different lead driver to lead the point standings in 2004. There's a place not many people know how to get to. It's not found on any map. There are no road signs. But when you get there, you'll know. Head for the mountains of Bush Beer. Finally, Daryl Waltrip drives the Aaron's Dream Machine, Junior. Ah, the lady in green. 
the lawn too tough to tame. A pass in the grass, you still got it, DW. Get your very own Dream Machine Junior or a street legal non decal version at Aaron's guaranteed lowest price. Do the math. DW, you the man. Three time champion, mowing my grass. Currents in rain means Goodyear's deeply carved aqua shoots propel water away from your tread. Assurance on ice means Goodyear's interlocking treads deliver gripping power. Assurance on dry pavement means Goodyear's reinforced shoulders give you confident maneuvering. The revolutionary new Goodyear Assurance with triple tread technology for assurance in any weather on the wings of Goodyear. The road to justice has never been more twisted. Finish it. The Shield, all new, Tuesday at 10, only on FX. FX presents the first reality series that follows drivers beyond the track. I did laundry all day. Why do you have to aggravate me all the time? NASCAR Drivers 360, presented by Toyota, premieres next, only on FX. Welcome back to the Funai 250 here on FX. And Kyle Busch, your winner, leading 236 of 250 laps. He's out of the car in victory lane. Our Dick Bergwood is there. <laughs> the crew is carrying him off. Don't take him away until we get a chance to talk to him. Wow. <laughs> hey, Kyle Busch. <laughs> It looked easy until those last few laps. What was it like out there? Gatorade and Pepsi burns, just like somebody else said a couple weeks ago. But, uh, oh, that was awesome. This is the best car I've ever driven in my entire life, even late models, legend cars, whatever. But uh, that was awesome, especially racing Greg Biffle. You know, that was he's the man. You know, he won the championship two years ago. So, man, I just can't thank these guys enough. Lance McGrew and Ricky Hendrick, Papa Joe, Rick, you guys are at home watching take care of pop and uh, this one's for you guys and of course Lowe's shot back fellow windows gladiator garage works and Briggs and Stratton baby all them without without them we wouldn't be here either 18 start and you win already you and your brother have both done incredible things in the big league is this stuff you learned as a kid or is this just good genetics mom and dad that's right we got our talent from dad but we got our speed from mom that's what we've always said so uh, it's awesome. I mean, a phenomenal team and a phenomenal parents and a phenomenal brother. You just come up that way and you get phenomenal results. So hopefully we can go after this championship sometime. Congratulations to Steve Burns. All right, thanks, Dick. With Greg Biffle, Kyle Busch just paid tribute to you. Tell us about that shootout at the end. Well, it was really fun. You know, uh, I'll tell you what, they got a great race team over there. Uh, five car, they won a championship last year. So he's in a great uh, race car. And, you know, he was doing a really good job tonight. He drove. Uh, he made some mistakes there. Uh, earlier when I wasn't pressing him for a position. I wish I would have, but uh, right there at the end, he, he didn't make any mistakes, and uh, I could have got to his bumper, but I, you know, figured I'd let him go, and uh, Harvick just informed me I'm getting soft in my old age, so uh, <laughs> for, for uh, letting him go, but uh, he drove a good race. Uh, these guys did a good job on my charter car tonight, and, uh, you know, we got a good race team. We just had some bad luck, and uh, I think we're coming back. All right, thanks, Greg. Let's go to Matt. And Kevin Harvick, the red flag, and... I hadn't, I hadn't been able to do that for a while. <laughs> That's good times. The, the caution, the red flag, not what you needed with your race car, Kevin. No, the recent Chevrolet was just awesome after, you know, 15 laps or so. And uh, with all the yellows and reds and everything at the end, I knew we were in trouble. We were, we were uh, just holding on for what we could. And, and uh, the thing would just really slide around for the first uh, 10 laps or so. But uh, good night for the recent Chevrolet. Proud of all the guys. want to thank Sylvania and Snap-on and all the other people that help us make this thing go around. So it's uh, a lot of fun to race these cars. And we want to win the race, but... Uh, we're also not in trouble, and we have a good night tomorrow. <laughs> and that's a big thing, especially here at Richmond. Hey. Is um, Myers going to blabber for the rest of the show? Uh, we don't have a whole lot of time left, but I'll just tell you one thing. That's a good thing. His last three runs here, a first, second, and a third. He definitely has Richmond down. Kyle Busch is the seventh driver to win a Busch race for Hendrick Motorsports. He joins the Bodine brothers, Tim Richmond, Jeff Gordon, Jack Sprague, and Brian Vickers. And he takes the point lead with a car that on its last lap, Darrell, was only a tenth of a second slower than on its best lap tonight. Wow. Yeah. I, and I thought Greg Biffle, he actually did what I thought he was doing. He cut the kid some slack. And I, he could have got to that old back bumper if he wanted to. I think the comeback of the night, though, was Martin Truex Jr. He ends up seventh. And also Jason Leffler, you saw him in the top ten in points. He ends up in 11th.